Hello, in this video we're going to look at the ISLM model. We have an economy characterized by the following equations. We have a consumption function where consumption is going to be a function of Y income and uh, here T is taxes. And we have an investment function, I, where R is the interest rate government purchases, G here will just equal $200. We also have taxes, T, and that will also equal $200. So the first thing we're going to do is solve for the IS curve. This is a closed economy because there are no uh, imports or exports, or net exports. So Y equals C plus I plus G in a closed economy. And our first step is to substitute in for these three variables. So for C, we're going to just plug in the consumption function. For I, we'll plug in the investment function, 300 minus 25R, and G is just $200. In step three, the only thing I did in step three was for T, I now plug in taxes. Okay, so now we have that. And what we basically want to do is solve for R, and that will be our IS curve. So in step four, I did a little bit of simplification. I took this 0.75 and multiplied it through by what's in parentheses. So that's where the 0.75 Y is coming from. And then I took 0.75 and multiplied it by minus 200. That'll be minus 150. And then adding up all these other uh, constant terms, we have 600 on the right-hand side. All right, uh, solving for R, moving this 25 R to the other side and then moving y to the uh, right-hand side, so this 0.75 y minus y, so I just move this y to the right-hand side uh, by subtracting y from both sides, so that leaves us with minus 0.25 y, 0.75 minus 1 y, minus 0.25 y then. And now dividing through by 25, here is our IS curve. If we wanted to, we could graph it. All right, we'll come back to this. Let's move on to the LM curve. So we have a money demand function in this economy where we have on the left-hand side the money supply M and the price level P, and that equals income minus 100R, where R again is the interest rate. We'll assume the money supply is currently at $1,000 and the price level is at 2. Plugging 1000 and 2 into the left-hand side and simplifying, we will now derive the LM curve. So 500 equals Y minus 100 R. Solving this for R. Okay, moving over here, uh, dividing through by 100. R equals Y divided by 100 minus 5. So given our IS curve and LM curve, we can now find all the following information. We can find the equilibrium level of income or output, equilibrium uh, interest rate, the equilibrium level of consumption, equilibrium level of investment spending. So let's get started with the first one. Let's find the equilibrium level of Y. So to do that, we're just going to set the IS curve equal to the LM curve. So essentially we're setting R equal to R. So doing that, we got the IS curve on the left hand side and that's set equal to the LM curve on the right hand side. Adding 5 to both sides is where we get this 29. Um, adding Y divided by 100 to both sides. We have this now on the right hand side. Uh, simplifying the right hand side we get 2Y divided by 100 which will just simplify to Y divided by 50. And now we will multiply through the equation down here by 50. Doing that, y equals 1,450. To get the equilibrium R level, we will plug this 1,450 either into the LM or uh, IS curve. And I plugged it into the IS curve, which again is right here. So doing that, simplifying, we get the interest rate, equilibrium interest rate of 9.5%. To find the equilibrium level of investment, let's take this 9.5 and plug it into the investment function. Okay, and we get 62.5. To get the equilibrium 
level of consumption, we write our consumption function down. And for Y, we will plug in 1,450. Doing that, we have our equilibrium level consumption of $1,187.50. And we can check our answer. Uh, we said Y was 1,450. And that should equal our values for C plus I plus G. And it does. So the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So that is the end. I hope you found this video helpful.